Hello Rocket fans and welcome back to this weekly workshop review from Copenhagen Suborbitals. Let's jump straight into last Saturday. Now that the waterbed and automatic plasma torch height adjustment are complete for our CNC plasma cutter, we can start putting it to good use cutting some large speaker parts like we have promised you. This pair of roughly 1 meter diameter flanges will be used for a section that will extend the height of our speaker space capsules prototype. It's cut from carbon steel so it's easy and fast to work with when making a prototype. In terms of the plasma cutter, we are now just down to fine tuning. Playing around with different cutting speeds, torch heights, air pressures and amperage to find the cleanest cutting settings for different materials, so we spend as little time as possible cleaning up the parts afterwards. And that's exactly what Bo and Jakob were doing. In the other corner of the workshop, Jesper was continuing to bring our DSC rib back to life. It is definitely starting to look more and more like a proper engine. Adrian loaded his load cell with a bucket of heavy metal to calibrate it, and later on did some initial thruster measurements. For that, he had to flip his test rig horizontal, and of course we couldn't miss the chance to see whether the rig could spin itself up in this position. Maybe once we go higher pressures, or with a little bit of help. And apart from working on the capsule prototype extension, Martin also let some steam out by hammering the seat frame for the astronaut. Jakob Thomas and a few others improved our sheet metal storage rack for easier access with the forklift as well as the smaller rack for scrap pieces. Now we know that's not too exciting but that's what 80% of building rockets actually is so sometimes it still deserves showing. And before we go, make sure you have watched our last video where Jakob guides you through our new large injector water flow test tank for the BPM100 rocket engine. There's a small demonstration at the end of it that can give you a nice picture of the scale of that monster speaker engine. So thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Copenhagen Suborbitals is a non-profit all-volunteer project. The reason we are getting so close to reaching space on our speaker rocket is because all of our crowdfunding supporters. If you've been following this project and feel passionate about new ways of exploring space and building rockets, you can help us out by going over to our website www.copsub.com and becoming a supporter with a small monthly or one-time donation that helps us pay workshop rent and buy materials. And in return, you get all these insider videos on building a space program which you don't really get anywhere else. So on behalf of everybody at Copenhagen Suborbitals, thank you for your support and we'll see you next time.